Hi everybody, my name is Annika Savetti. Welcome to my channel. So I am testing a microphone for the first time. I'm not sure if it's gonna pick up. There's people vacuuming upstairs, which kind of sucks. I'm at my mom's house and I'm supposed to be getting the hell out of my place, which is where I normally film when I'm home alone. Um, that's like next to such a busy road and I'm terrified to use a microphone there because I just feel like it's literally going to make the background noise so much worse. It's already bad enough. So I don't want that. But if you guys hear anything weird, I'm sorry. I'm still just trying to figure this out. Like right now I'm using my phone and I'm just testing out the microphone. So I'm going to see what happens. But yeah, I'm just really hoping that this works out somehow. I don't really know how to use this equipment, but we're going to figure it out. I'm going to just get ready. My daughter is getting off the bus for the first time, like coming home. <laughs> she just started kindergarten. I'm so proud of her. Um, we had some mishaps with the bus. Like they told us the wrong time and the wrong bus for the morning pickup. So she ended up having me driven to school because like we were just out there for like 35, 40 minutes and it never came. And then the next day we were told, oh, it's because the bus had like done a seven o'clock pickup instead of 7.35, which is what we were told. Then suddenly uh, it's a completely different bus picking her up at a completely different time. So it was just like a shit show and I'm not sure what the hell is going on in her school district. I think there's a lack of bus drivers, which is a shame. There's a lack of everybody these days, isn't there? But yeah, I'm just gonna do my makeup real quick. Probably nothing too crazy. I do want to put a wig on, probably just because my hair is like, I need to wash it tonight. Um, yesterday, I had my written aesthetic state board exam, and I'm really happy to say that I passed it. I got a 94. Somehow, honestly, not even sure how, because every time I was trying to study, I felt like it was just such a disaster. Like, if I don't have complete peace and quiet, it's hard for me like to read and like retain material. Like a lot of the times I feel like I need to read it out loud. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, luckily a lot of it was stuff I had learned, but hadn't really gone over very much until the last few weeks. Because while I was in clinic, I was not studying as much as I should have. I definitely should have studied more. But luckily it ended up working out. And shout out to my friends, Elena and Erica, who helped create the study materials that like basically got me to pass this exam. I love them so much. Elena, like she was always on top of like creating study materials for us, whether it was like Hoots or Quizlet, but I could not appreciate her any more than I do. Like I just love her so much. Erica, literally, I don't know if she's had her baby yet. I think I probably would have heard it, but she's like, very close to having a baby and if she isn't already like recuperating from giving birth <laughs> so yeah Erica you're amazing I can't believe you did all this while you were pregnant the entire time during class like I fucking love you and yeah I'm just so thankful for everybody I met throughout this whole experience now I just need to pass my practical state board on Monday and I'm really hoping that me and all my friends will be there and I'm just praying that we all pass like I'm so nervous we can't afford to fail we can't afford to fail so it's just not gonna happen we're gonna we're gonna do great <laughs> um I always did worse on the practical than with the written which I maintained a 98 average for the first time like in my entire life <laughs> at Empire but for the practicals, I, I first got an 80, which I was not the happiest with. Like, I wanted to do better. But I kept making stupid mistakes because I get nervous and then I make mistakes. So, yeah. And then the next time I did it, I only did five points better. I got an 85. So, oh, and I took it a third time, but I don't think I ever found out the results of that. So, I'm just really praying for the fucking best. But good luck to all my friends who are going to be with me on Monday at the practical. I'm just praying we all have good news after. I think we have to wait a couple of days to find out the results, so. But luckily the day after, Alina's gonna be doing my lashes. I know I was like, I'm not sure if lash extensions are for me, but I wanna be there for her. I wanna support her. And I especially want my lashes done by her before she becomes like the most famous lash tech around. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna hop into my makeup and super excited to just 
be done with all my testing. Like, I just want to be able to say, hey guys, I fucking did it. I'm a licensed esthetician. Um, let's hope that day comes soon. But all right, I'm just gonna go on my eyebrows, prime my face, and then I'll get into some eyeshadow. Okay, I'm back. I just kind of like put on my skincare. Um, I already had like a hyaluronic acid serum on with the Image Skincare Vital C, which is like a vitamin C orange scented serum. Mix those together. Um, I did like this rice toner, which was also with hyaluronic acid. I did my <laughs> hyaluronic acid um, watermelon. It was like the Creme Shop times Hello Kitty pink dew water cream or something like that. It smells like watermelon. It's so nice. And then I topped everything off with my little sample size of my Image Daily Prevention Sheer Matte Moisturizer, which is like an amazing sunscreen. I have the full size of the hydrating version, which is my favorite, but I don't have that with me right now. So I used the mini of the matte one. And yeah, and then I put on my NYX Born to Glow concealer on my lids and just like to try and spot conceal a little bit. Um, I feel like some of my foundations haven't been working for me lately, so yeah, but okay. Um, I'm gonna use my Natasha Denona I Need a Warm palette. And let me just find a brush. I'm just gonna take this Real Techniques brush. I think I'm gonna start with right. Um, I've been thoroughly testing these two palettes, my Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette and then the I Need a Warm palette. Well, I've been testing them like pretty much every single day since I posted my last video and I'm definitely impressed. Like, I don't know. I definitely see this one being more of like one of my bridal palettes. Super pretty, but... I definitely prefer I Need a Nude just because of the color story, but I will say I think the shimmers in this palette are better, but I'm not going to be using any of the, actually maybe I'll put one of the shimmers on the lid and then we'll layer with a different eyeshadow. We'll see what happens, but now I'm going to take, hmm, maybe we'll take Pep. I don't know if I've tried this shade yet. And I'm just going to put this on my outer corner. I'm also working with the natural lighting. It's a little bit cloudy out today, so I apologize for that. Oh yeah, I had someone ask me if I'm using, like if I'm putting my hand into the freaking the eyeshadows, like to swatch or apply to my eyelid. How is that still sanitary? It's still sanitary as long as you are washing your hands and using a hand sanitizer and then also spraying your palettes down with alcohol before and after reuse. Um, I definitely would never be swatching any eyeshadow palettes without doing all of those steps. And I will always obviously like thoroughly sanitize my makeup. But as long as you do that, you're removing any dirt, grime by washing your hands and then you're removing any pathogens that can be on your hands, unless if like you have to happen to have like some sort of mold on your hands, then a hand sanitizer is not going to cut it. But honestly, your shadows aren't going to harbor the bacteria unless you get like water into it, which I did write a post about, by the way, if anybody cares. But um, yeah, it's totally fine as long as you're just like keeping it sanitary, and then you are making damn sure that you spray down your palettes because otherwise you don't know that if there's still pathogens. For example, I have a palette that oh, is such a shame. It's my Anastasia Soft Glam palette, and that one, let's just say somebody coughed, like directly coughed into it. Luckily, I do this person's makeup on the frequent side, but it was so disappointing because like um, the shades 
orange soda, orange soda and burnt orange. Or is that what it's called? You know what shades I'm talking about. Those shadows were everything to me. Like for quite a while, actually, like I really loved them. So yeah, super bummer. And because somebody coughed directly into my palette, even though I've sprayed it down, I spray it down all the time. Um, I don't feel comfortable using that on myself, let alone any other client. So I would never put it on anyone else except for that one person who contaminated it. And the rest of the makeup they've contaminated because that was not the only thing. But yeah, it's so annoying. It's like, especially when you like work so hard to build a kit and then people just disrespect your makeup. Um, also, I, mean, I know this this side isn't looking great. Um, the lighting is not the best. I'm stuck to the basement right now. Not much I can do about it. I hope that made it better or worse. I'm gonna go back in with Ripe. Um, okay, so I know I talked about this in my I Became a Makeup Artist video, or I'm finally a makeup artist, whatever I called it. So. And this has happened to me several times. So if any of these people who have done this are watching, I'm not just calling you out. I'm calling out anyone who's ever done this to me or anybody out there who may have done this to somebody else. I had someone. We'll just use this palette as an example. This, These are, um, oh wait, these shadows, the uh, these three on the right, I mean, sorry, on the left are my two Bella Butte bar. New Hollows, Poison Ivy, and Rose Quartz Hollow. And then I got the Rosy Glam Flush Lighter. But the rest of these eyeshadows, these are my Touch of Glam. I just got some new ones. I have so many of these now, but I'm testing these specific singles. Somebody went ahead. And when I was doing makeup one day at school, um, and this has happened like so many times, if I had people go ahead and just, see my makeup, go, ooh, oh my god, and without washing their hands, without disinfecting their hands, anything, and especially without fucking asking, went ahead and just, like, dug their hands into my palette, and literally, because somebody did not wash their hands and disinfect their hands before doing that, I can never, ever put those shadows on anyone else. I mean, I'm still going to use them on myself, because that palette is, like, super special to me, but it's so disappointing because I brought it specifically that day to use on other people just for it to be completely contaminated. And obviously, like, I don't know for sure how bad the contamination was, but if you're not washing your hands, I don't know if you've got, like, oil, bacteria, if you have fucking snot or whatever other nasty bodily fluids on your fucking hands. I don't know what, what you do with your hands because I'm not responsible for anyone else's fucking cleanliness but mine. So the fact that someone would have the nerve to go and do that shit without asking or without being sanitary, especially after, a, like, because this happened so many times at the beauty school where, like, shit would, like, this would happen. I'm just like, you have literally been in class learning all the safety sanitization procedures and everything. So what the fuck are you thinking? It was just, I don't know, it really bothers me. It makes me so mad. Because, like, you're not the one spending all this money on makeup. Like, I literally have worked so hard for the, the collection that I have because I want it to be special and I you know shadows like this specifically from Touch of Glam and Bella Beauté Bar literally give me life <laughs> and so you know um, I've probably placed like in the last two years like 20 or so orders from multiple different indie brands sometimes like I usually don't go over a hundred dollars per order but Every time I've ordered stuff, it's because I am getting it for myself and for my kit so I can, you know, use beautiful things on people. Um, obviously, I don't buy anything, like, especially eyeshadows. I don't buy anything that I could not personally use just in case it doesn't work out for my kit unless I end up needing specific things, like, down the line. Luckily, eyeshadow is pretty diverse, and there's so many different amazing palettes I have that would cover any skin tone. But, like... With things like foundation and like, I mean, like blushes and creams, especially like the fact that people would like dig their fucking dirty paws into that stuff is just what is wrong with you? Like, why would you do that to somebody? 
And why would you think that's okay? Like, I, I will never get over that shit. Because it's so rude. It's just, like, it wasn't, like, like, just because I'm showing you my kit that I worked my ass off to build. And spent a lot of money on. And I'm just, this is my collection. Like, a lot of this is stuff coming right from my own collection. Okay, so I've been doing makeup on people, like, on the side for the last two and a half years, though it only just became my job. Um, these people like don't even seem to understand how much that takes and then anytime I get a new product whether it's going to be in my kit or not um, I keep it as sanitary as possible because I want to have the option to use unless it's like a cream blush or something like um, I am like my Natasha do not own a blush like I put my hands in this because I never plan to use it on anyone else um like, I would never, you know, this is just something I bought for myself. But for the most part, any any eyeshadow, any powder products, um, listen, I need to work on lipsticks, getting more lipsticks for my kit. But, like, anything like that, I have tried so hard. My fucking heart is to keep it all clean and sanitary and disinfected and literally pathogen fucking free. So, I don't know. <laughs> it just really, it irritates me that people would ever... Be like, oh my god, I see somebody's expensive makeup. I'm just gonna stick my hands in it, or I'm gonna cough on it, or whatever. It's like, God, people are so disgusting. Like, I don't know how you treat your own makeup collection, but I don't treat my makeup collection like that. Maybe I used to before I understood, like, I wanted this to eventually be my job. Like, I just, I can't understand. I will never understand why anyone would treat anybody else's belongings, especially something so expensive, such as indie makeup. How can you treat someone else's things that they paid for with such disregard? Like, that's so messed up of you, and I hope anyone who has done this to me or anyone else will just fucking not do it ever again, because it's insane. Okay, um, sitting like this is starting to hurt, so I'm just gonna very quickly... Um, where am I hand sanitizing? I want to practice what I'm preaching. Hand sanitizer. Oh my god. The strawberry pound cake one from Bath and Body Works literally smells so fucking good. But okay. Alright. I'm just going to put this on the back of my hand like I normally do. Again, because this tube I've put on my hand so many times. I would not put that on someone else, but I would use the new one I have that I'm waiting to open. Or whatever on somebody by depositing it onto a palette. Whoa. Here goes my brush. First, I think I want to go in with a shimmer from I Need a Warm. I have not used the shade. This shade up here, Fancy. I'm just going to try it like on the inner portion. And then I think I used Push recently, so I'm going to try Snug this time. Like a, sort of like a golden champagne. Oh wait, please screen my hands off. And I'm going to spray my palette on camera. I always like to douse it. Some people will literally just do like one spritz, but I feel like I want it to coat every single eyeshadow. I'm just gonna set it laying like this on the table and I'll close it once it's dry. Okay, I'm going to actually take a tiny bit more glitter glue. I know some people think swatching is like super gross. And I used to think that too. But that's because I was doing it improperly. Literally having dirty hands or um, whatever. 
not sanitizing. I think that's the most important part is doing both washing your hands and sanitizing. It's not going to get any cleaner than that. And once you spray it, there's no chance of anything being in there unless you're like literally like sneezing into your palates or something. <laughs> but then if that happens, I don't know what to tell you. So today I'm actually going to try out this shade. It is You Had Me at Hollow. I get so obsessive with this shit. I'm going to re-sanitize. I have like OCD when it comes to germs, so I just always need to keep everything so sanitary. I usually cut it out, but I'm just going to show you guys. Because I just love the smell of that hand sanitizer. But okay, I'm going to take You Had Me at Hollow, which is like this like burnt orange red, like holochrome. Never done this on my phone before. Well, you can see that, but I'm literally just gonna tap that over the shimmer we have going. I think I wanna focus most of it on the center of the lid. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. Alright, let me just pick this up. Go in front of the light. Hope you can see at least something. I'll put images of it from my phone. I got a freaking Breve latte, which is like a latte with half and half instead of milk because it reminded me of my friend Alicia. I miss her so much, so that's why I got that. <laughs> Throw on my eyeliner. I'm not going to do lashes, I don't think because I need to get all the glue off my eyelashes. So I'm just gonna throw on my eyeliner and mascara. Actually, should I just do mascara today? I, honestly, I feel like I don't look that cute when I don't wear eyeliner though. So I don't know. I don't, I'm not gonna do lashes. I don't think I have any anyways right now that are with me. So whatever, but we'll see what happens. Okay, I threw on this eyeliner, which I started with a shadow wing, and then I went over lightly with my liquid liner. I feel like I got a different shape than normal. I feel like that every single time I do, like, eyeshadow liner or some sort of liner with an angled brush. Okay, the sun, the sun's no longer out. I had to, like, literally throw this on so fast because I realized I had... 10 minutes to go way outside and now i don't know how long it's gonna even take for my daughter to get home but i guess we'll see what happens <laughs> okay it just got bright as fuck out of nowhere so So I'm guessing that my outro clip somehow got deleted, but this is the end of the video. This is my completed quick look with um, You Had Me at Hollow from Touch of Glam Beauty over some pretty shades from my Natasha Denona I Need a Warm Palette. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so much. Um, today is Monday. I am just a few hours away from taking my exam, so I'm super nervous. I'm going to see if I can get this video up today. It's just a quick, like, testing with my mic oh and i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i wasn't even thinking like that throwing my makeup on the table right next to my mic would make such annoying sounds but oh yeah this is how i get my up close eye shots for instagram i just record my eyes with flash and then find some good stills but all right thank you guys again have a great day and i love you all bye